And welcome back. You know, the Meyer LPGA Classic with its over $2 million purse kicks off next week at the Blythefeld Country Club. Fans know they're going to see some top-notch golf all weekend, but they also know that the grand taste has fed them incredible food over the years. This year, it's a bit different. Kathy Cooper, the tournament's executive director, joins us with special guest executive chef from Sanchez Bistro, Jacob Johnson's with us as well. But Kathy, we're going to start with you. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Oh, we're excited. We're anticipating a great tournament and some really good food. Now, you know, supporting local restaurants has become a really big part of the Meyer LPGA Classic experience throughout this grand taste tent, which we all love to visit. Well, state mandates not allowing enough time to have the grand taste this year at the tournament. How are you still supporting those local restaurants and breweries? Well, you know what? We had um, some great restaurants and breweries step up. They're going to be part of our concession stands. Um, that are, we have built some great decks. Let me start with that. We've built some great decks um, out on the course. We've got tables and chairs on those decks for the, the spectators. And we've had some great restaurants step up to be a part of this um, next week. And we're pretty excited. We've got um, Third Nature Brewing Company. We've got our favorite Sanchez uh, Bistro. They've been with us a long time. Uh, Saladino Smoke and Founders Brewery. So we're going to have a mix of Meyer and um, great local restaurants with us. Kathy, if I'm hearing you correctly, then instead of having that one huge area where everyone would gather, you've got numerous decks, as you're calling them. How, how many are we talking about? How many holes are going to have this? We're going to have about five different decks, Excellent. a couple that are um, on 18, um, one of which is down by 18T. Um, another one on 18 green, another one where Grand Taste North used to be and two others, I think it's 10 and 16, but, um, you know, I walked them last night. They're really nice. I think the general public's going to enjoy them, a place to sit, some umbrella seating, some under tent seating, but all open and very safe. So, you know, that was the objective with the, the state mandates. Well, let's bring in Jacob here to talk about some of this great food. Jacob, are you with us? I am here. Excellent. Sanchez Bistro. Let me tell you, I love this place. Tapas Restaurant is one of my favorites. So, hey, I appreciate that. Uh, it really is one of my all-time favorite places to eat in town. You've, you've been with the Grand Taste before. What's it like to come back to the course after all the difficulties <laughs> last year? Yeah, definitely uh, gone out and, and participating in Grand Taste before. Uh, always had a blast. It's a lot of fun getting, getting together with a lot of local restaurants and breweries and, and seeing everybody enjoying the food, enjoying the time out at the LPGA. Um, we definitely missed out last year. Um, wish wish we could have had it, but due to all the circumstances, of course, we, we didn't, but really looking forward to, to getting back out there, um, participating again, sharing sharing some of, our, some of our food from the restaurant as well. You know, I think your food is really just perfectly geared for an event like this, because tapas, you know, they're small plates, uh, quick bites. What, can, what kind of food can we expect? Uh, this year we're going to be sharing a very classic cheese from Spain. It's, uh, it's a young sheep's milk cheese called Manchego. Um, we're going to be marinating it in uh, some roasted garlic olive oil uh, that we make here down at the restaurant um, with fresh rosemary tossed in with it to give it a little herbaceousness as well. Um, definitely one of our most popular tapas down here. We've had it uh, almost since we opened. Love that. Oh, one of my faves. I cannot wait to try that again. So, uh, Jacob, thank you so much for the time this morning. As always, we absolutely love your restaurant and can't wait to see you out of the Grand Taste. Uh, let's check back with Kathy real quick and say we've, we've heard from Sanchez, Kathy. What, what other local restaurants and breweries can we expect to see? Can you run that list? Well, we've got uh, Founders Brewery, we've got Saladino Smoke, we've got Jolly Pumpkin, um, of course, Sanchez, as we said, Third Nature Brewing Company, and a lot of vendors that are partners with Meyer and supporting the tournament will have food at concessions too. And so different than Grand Taste where they each had their own setup and booth, it's going to be, com be combined into one concessions menu um, that people can select from. So I love it. And, and talk about tickets. Brand. Tickets are a little different this year too, right? We got what, $10 for a, for a day pass, right? Yeah, you know what? $10 for a day pass. Um, kids 17 and under get in free. So we're really making it um, a really value oriented experience for the community. 
free parking at Rockford High School. You jump on the shuttle and you're there and um, easy to walk to. The decks are easy to walk to and enjoy food and enjoy golf. We've also got some special surprises for kids there too. Oh my goodness, cannot wait. Thank you so much for the information and Jacob of course for the, the information from Sanchez even if you're not going to the uh, to the golf tournament make sure you make that reservation at Sanchez and help those local restaurants out great place to go don't forget the Meyer LPGA Classic for Simply Give Blythefield Country Club June 17th through the 20th as you just heard $10 a day for adults kids 17 and under get in free when the grown-up buys a ticket go to MeyerLPGAClassic.com for more information